Fire alert issued tonight after a stunning surge in overdoses. Hennepin County says 40 people overdosed in just the last week. Six of them died. WCCO's Alan Henry explains how you can help keep people alive. Someone's life is in peril, and you being trained and equipped with nasal Narcan just might save someone's life. That's why Howard Dotson with the Twin Cities Crisis Response Team held a Narcan training tonight, their third in as many weeks. Dotson says it's a critical tool in the fight against drugs laced with the deadly opioid fentanyl. Nasal Narcan can require six administrations for fentanyl. That's how strong it is. It's not all gloom and doom, though. The Indigenous Peoples Task Force says they've seen some success in their harm reduction program focusing on young people. We talk about the red road, the red path, that, that road, um, that's the good road, and try to encourage people to come back to that way of life. Despite the current challenges, advocates say they're still optimistic that the crisis can be stopped. Those 20 young people that are in that peer-to-peer -peer coaching, navigation program right now, I think that's a sign of success. Um, that young, that there are young people who, who want to create a better way. We're going through the crucible now, and we're getting out on the other side. We have a new police chief in Minneapolis. We're going to have a new police chief in St. Paul. We're going to have a new sheriff for Hennepin County. So with three new leaders, we can turn the page on this opiate crisis. Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office is also offering free Narcan training classes. Their next class is going to be held on December 6th.